Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! All right, we got a new studio audio set up here. And uh, we're doing a book report. Cappy does book reports because you pay, I'll play. And uh, I hated doing book reports. I still hate reading today. But this guy paid me a gob of money. I got another guy who paid me a gob of money. And again, if you want to pay me gobs of money to read, I will do book reports. So uh, Ben writes, uh, how much for a book review? I say, well, it depends on how much. He said, it's an e-book called The Secret to Selling Anything. By Harry Brown, it's 183 pages. <clears throat> I said, sure, yeah. And uh, so he paid. And he says, uh, if you can, please throw in a clarity test on Harry Brown. And uh, this is, I do believe, the uh, libertarian candidate. I could be wrong. And a rant about why New York City sucks, which I'll be doing separately in different videos. Uh, but I did want to go through this here. Now, keep in mind the majority of your expense when you... Um, have me do a book report we'll be going into me reading and if i don't like the book it ain't exactly going to be i'm going to agree with you uh but this book is both good i wouldn't say awesome it's good and at the same time horrible and I'm going to sing its praises first, <clears throat> and then I will uh, uh, rip it apart next. Uh, the, the book itself is a compilation of two separate books. One is The Secrets of Success, and the other is Selling is Easy. Uh, and so he just took those two essays. It really is just two lengthy essays put together for uh, uh, The Secret to Selling Anything. Uh, and the first part is The Secret of Success. And uh, basically what it is is... Microeconomics 101, if you paid attention and mastered to it, because in microeconomics, meaning the individual granular cellular level of economics, um, it is how individual humans interact with one another. And there you're introduced to remember utility or utils or anything like that, and incentives and pay, apply wages and equilibrium points and all that other stuff. And what Harry Brown does is he boils it down into a much simpler understanding uh, that all the three rules basically all humans seek happiness. Uh, happiness is relative and resources are limited and he talks time energy was it money time energy time energy and I think maybe just general resources and these if you follow these three rules that uh, humans are always constantly in search of happiness they are always going to maximize happiness and since resources are limited they have to maximize they have to discern they have to choose between options that in their minds and their individual tastes and preferences maximizes the happiness in their lives. And so this is, again, 101. And the argument he makes is very simple, and that is, if you want to be successful in, in this particular application selling, but in any other endeavor that involves interacting with humans, what you want to do is find out what other humans want and then give it to them. That's it. That's all it is. And it's a very simple understanding, uh, a very simple concept, but I think we have, I got to come up with a term where it's not frontal lobes, but it's not your hind brain, but it's kind of in between. We're like, yeah, yeah, I know it. But no, do you, do you really know it? Did you incorporate that into your clear, conscious, active CPU thought right now? And that's the next step, I think, that this book tries to say. He even admits that this is common sense. Well, do what people want and you'll get paid. But just look at everybody today, especially, oh my God, even full-grown adults. Forget the little millennial kids, but the millennial kids is perfect. And Gen Z, I'm sure that. Well, I don't want to do that. I, I, even, even that asshole consulting. Um, I got people, I, I just, it just isn't my passion. I want to punch people right in the face. Who gives a shit what your passion is? doesn't matter what you want. It, what, it's what other people want. People get rich by delivering what other people want. Drug dealers, perfect example. Pablo Escobar, um, El Chapo, uh, any, just the successful dealer down the street. You, you think they wanted to deal drugs? Yeah, okay, maybe it does be working fast food, I'll grant you that. Uh, but do you think, oh, yeah, I like getting shot at and the Fed's coming at me and after that? No, they do it because you people pay it. They're, they're supplying for a need, for a want, for people to be happy on heroin or drugs. Uh, and to reverse it, uh, you millennial geniuses, 
you, you think that, that the professors like standing there and sitting there lecturing to you about Marxist theory? No, they gave it because you gave them their money. They, told, they gave you what you want, and that is a delusional lie that, that you could go and actually have a career as an English women's psychological studies professor or major. So what he wants to do is he, he it, it, it's a, it's wake up. Forget what you want. The key to success is delivering what other people want. And, and in your own private lifetime, in your own life, when you got the resources, when you got money, you got, then you could go do what you want. But to make money, you want them working for you. You want other people working for you. Don't try and hard sell people things they don't want. Give them what they want. And then he goes into a little bit of, well, you know, is drugs, is that ethical? Is religion, is that ethical? He doesn't, but he talks about it may not be aligned with your personal morals and, and, and responsibilities. Uh, but when it comes to being successful, the first thing you do, do is say, forget what I want. What do other people want and how can I get it for them? And then that, that makes the path a lot clearer and your, your judgment is not clouded by, well, I, I just want to follow my heart and the money will follow. Why I can't find a job? It's sexism. It's Republicans. All right. So it is this uh, success through selflessness that uh, th that putting other people first actually puts you ahead of them, sort of way, which is mutually beneficial because everybody wins. So there are there are obviously more ramifications to this beyond selling. I mean, the book is couched within, hey, how to sell things to other people and be happy. Uh, but it, it's the key to any success. Financial success um, through your career. You don't necessarily have to be a salesman. You could be just a, a career. Um, your mental health. Oh, my God. Could you imagine what's being a leftist today? Th oh, we can't find a job with my poetry degree. Or that idiot moron over at OWS who had a master's in puppetry. And these idiots are protesting because the world doesn't. They never put, them, they never put the other people first and ask what other people want. It's always me, me, me. Um, the, the, the insanity these people endure, uh, it's like, no, it's very simple. The world wants you to do this. Go do it and make money. And the world's not going to bend over backwards for you. And they're like surprised when the world doesn't turn out the way they wanted. So f mental happiness, manageable and realistic expectations. One of the kind of governing things is he talks about immediately assessing what is attainable versus not like if your product doesn't do what the client wants the guy you're trying to sell it to you got to be oh, i'm sorry our product doesn't do that you know our car drives they don't fly um and then that in turn puts your expectations within reality and also contributes to your mental health health and happiness and then um also key to social romantic uh, relationships you let's talk of let's do a little self-criticism here shall we boys Girls are stupid because they don't like short guys. Well, girls don't want short guys. We can argue all day, all day why they shouldn't, why they should, should, should. There's no should. Guys don't like fat chicks. Girls don't like short guys. Except now, with that exception, acceptance, move on. Figure it out. Um, darn it, this already gone. There we go. Um, you, you will go further finding out what does that girl want she wants a guy who's ripped i'm a fat lard ass maybe i ought to go on diet and hit the gym and work out oh my god success same thing with women you know but uh it, it, it applies anytime you're interacting with humans it's it's not like you want to brainwash them or kiss their ass it, he he delineates between that but if you want to be successful interacting with humans well then you gotta say well what do those humans want and you better give it to them because they only have this much time and resources on life. And unless you're going to be of benefit to them, screw you. They have no reason to, to be with you. Why, why would they waste their time? You are no benefit to them. So it's a very selfless kind of thing. It doesn't mean you're, you're a, a pushover or you're a doormat. You get compensated in the end. But it's putting other people first and their wants and desires first. And then you're, it's kind of like the great escape. What are you? I'm the forager. No, that's the forger. I'm the procurer. Well, James Gardner, he was the supplier. He would go and get things for people. That's what he would do. He would get things for people. And then they could escape. And that was the movie. So that's that's the first part. And that part, I, I, to me, it was elementary and basic because I do pay attention to economics. And um, that is what I do. Uh, but for people who've never studied economics, you don't understand this, or you've just never read b basic human psychology uh, and self-interest, that is definitely worth reading. It's a little, little repetitive, but it's worth reading. 
The remaining two thirds is the next segment of his book, uh, the, the, is the next part of the book, which is the second essay he wrote called Selling is Easy. And he takes that basic principle of putting other people's wants first and then delivering it to them. And like a true business professor, takes a simple two sentence concept and extrapolates it into another, oh, about 90 pages. And it's painful and repetitive. And you want to put a bullet in your head because I can understand if he's writing for someone who doesn't know anything about selling. They really need their hand held. Okay, then that that may be for you. But for somebody who's viewing it from a philosophical standpoint or where you have a concept of this and you incorporate in your life, or, or you just, yeah, I got it the first time around, you can skip the second part. If you need some instruction, you'll find like little, um, you'll say, here's the recap. Just read the recap. Like if you need a handheld instruction, like step one, step two, step three, is five steps. Highlight them. You'll see them. This step be one, two, three, four, five. It'll be a bullet point. Highlight that. Read that. There it is. That's it. The remaining two thirds is just this painful, repetitive application and then simple reapplication. I wish he had more individual examples because at least that told you a story. And he does. He has enough. But... This, the second part of the book should have been as short as the first, if not even shorter, or maybe just a case study. Um, but it is painfully tedious, painfully granular, and uh, and I was just like, I, I kept like having to wake up because like you guys pay me, I'm gonna try and read through, and, and it's just I felt just like I was in business school again because you take management with you know sales, marketing, I have all you guys with your doctorate, you you spent eight years saying if you spend more on advertising, you'll make more in sales. That's it. That's that's eight years of your study condensed down to one sentence. That's all it is. Don't tell me any different. That's all it is. I don't know how you guys do that. I don't know how you guys can intellectually masturbate to one sentence or a concept like that. Uh, in this case, for 90 pages, let alone in your case, eight years. And you write marketing books. Holy crap. That's what this was like. It was like going to a general management class where you have some no-name professor. Actually, well, Harry Brown's a, not a no-name, but you have some no-name professor, never worked in the private sector, did nothing but uh, 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 be a, an academic his entire life. And he wrote a book on management. It's all theory. Porter's Five Forces, wasn't it Porter? He was a doctorate in business. Man no, he was an engineer. They got a doctorate or MBA or something. And then his consultancy went down, like <laughs> failed or something like that. This is, this is, that's the level of bullshit that's in the, the second two thirds of this. So save yourself some time. I think this is a, a must read essay. The first part is a must read essay with the second two thirds, the second part being maybe more of a reference guide that you can read, you know, look for the basics, uh, the five steps of selling, go over that, and then maybe just have it, maybe consult it a little bit. Um, and if you've never sold before you're getting into selling, or, you, you know, yeah, fine, maybe it, it's worth reading the first part, but, but for everybody, the first part's worth reading for everybody. If you're a salesman, second part may be worth going through the first couple of chapters until you got it down. But for anyone who's intellectual, philosophical, you know that if you get the world to work for you and not you expecting the world to, uh, uh, to, to bend over backwards for you, like you abide by what the world wants, not the other way around, that's how you make your money. This really isn't going to be anything new or interesting on the, under the sun. He's very clinical. I'll tell you this about that. He's very, very almost, you know, he's got a background in economics. Very clear very black and white on that first part. But then the application about selling just So, all right, that's it. Um, questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. If you want me to do book reports, I'll do book reports, but you're gonna pay a lot of freaking money. And um, yeah, this was painful. I, I, I charged correctly for this. I charged a lot of money. I won't say what it's his private affair, but this guy paid a lot of money. And pal, that second part, I, I was like, oh, you have no idea how many times I saw it. Oh, I gotta wake up. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all later. Toodles.